this here is an absolutely beautiful little two owner 1984 Lincoln Mark 7 and the Mark 7's man that's when they were really coming into their own I mean this thing's got a Mustang motor in it 5.0 it gets down in boogies it's got all the luxuries and creature comforts inside they're about the right size they're not too big not too small these are a nifty years of these little cars and they, I believe this was the first year model of a Mark 7 I'm not a hundred percent it could have been an 83 um, but this one here is very clean somebody's taken care of it and seems to have maintained it very well I'll give you my usual once around here and kind of show you all once around the car and then we'll go up close and I'll show you any minor flaws and details um, someone's painted it at some point I'm sure and it's a really good paint job it's not a perfect paint job it's not a show paint job the paint job is a good paint job um, and I'll show you some of the little spots it just kind of maybe got it a little bit on the trim on one spot and little things like that where if you're looking for absolutely perfect it's not exactly what it is but it is very nice not by any means just a quick paint job um, nice car and, and I'll bet the paint job's four or five years old too it's it's not like someone just put it on it um, and it's held its age and it really looks nice has a nice feel I believe it's a two-stage this car you get good fuel economy it's got the real wire wheels oh and I didn't even tell you it's a Bill Blass model you probably read it in the title by now but this is an actual Bill Blass model with the nice tricolor interior and everything beautiful car coming up close I'm going to show you the main area of damage on the outside and the only spot of corrosion right there and I can have this fix ground out rust proofed put some fiberglass on it and get a um, nice color match on that and it'll run you about hundred and thirty five to hundred and seventy five dollars rest of the car is beautiful uh, stinking uh, wheel wells are just nice as it gets um, these wire wheels are in great shape um, they just put these ultra GT wheels on the front and they're a nice good tire little titties all over the side and I bet you they got 80 90 percent tread underneath the car is just super clean um, we had to get the harmonic balancer put on and a thermostat and a couple little things like that and it just runs great now I believe somebody tinked these on a curb and I was also told these could be original with the Bill Blast model with the little cat in them and they are the bright 750s but they're bent down just a tad bit somebody hit them little parking curbs with them I'm sure very nice don't leak all over the place coming across the hood it's beautiful absolutely beautiful paints clean shines nice and reflective like I say these wheels are something else and like I always also said underneath is just very very nice I mean it's a California car got the rocker panels on it still oh here's what I meant like right here you can tell that they should have um, taped that piece of trim off a little better and I, yeah I'm picky right around here that's why I'm saying not a show thing right here there's a little scratch in it or crack a little scuff here yeah that's a scuff could buff out um, going along here this stuff on here is kinda your sweeps are a little messy in there and this piece here is a little cracked chipped in a couple places um, like right there see just got that didn't get the chrome but they didn't tape that black off all the way and that's what I mean great paint job but they just didn't get that kind of stuff 100% they got it around the back window pretty good chip right there um, and the worst chip on the car was right there the paint is cracked but going down the sides not all dinged up at all A little smudge right there same thing could buff out small chip yes picky me little teeny scratches on the bumper nothing special and a ding right here as you can see hard to see when you step back a couple steps there was probably some color of vinyl or plastic in the middle here 
that's now gone. Little thing in the paint there. Everything is pretty much just nice as it gets. Scratch right here, chip right here. Same thing I was talking there where they just didn't take that off really well. Same thing on the sweeps here. And this piece that always comes up on these. Um, it's a Bill Blast model, man. It's nice. Got your stink of rocker panels and fender well trim. Lots of extra chrome. The parts are easy to find on these for any of the Mark 7s. Um, a lot of the Lincoln parts will work for the motor. A lot of Mustang parts. A lot of Ford truck parts. Um, nice, cheap to work on. Good, reliable um, engine training combo. I, I like a sporty type muscle car, but... I'll tell you what, a businessman's coupe like this that actually has the balls, the comfort, the luxury, everything, there's just no beating it. Um, okay, I'm going to grab my little floor mat here. I like to show the interior from up at the house in the months that are... Yeah, it looks like it's pretty bright up there too though right now. In the months that are sunnier, it's hard for me to find a spot where... You can see the interior real good. Digital dash, 78,000 miles. And... Auto leveling suspension. All that works, it gives a quick pump when you start it up. Um... I didn't remember if the... Oh yeah. Get all these different cars. I can't remember how to turn the radios on them, and that's pretty loud. I know I'll turn it down when I get to a station here. Open at 1800 University Drive. Save money, live better, Walmart. So you can do all your fading and stuff. Got the original owner's manual, and the old guy um, highlighted stuff in it. You can really tell when somebody cares about their car and takes care of it. Um, the dash is not all cracked up. I'm almost sure that they kept this thing in a garage. Didn't drive it much. I don't know if you can see that. 79,000 miles the oil's due on uh, 9.30.08. So. And just giving it a little half throttle there, man. It goes. That's up to 32, like right now. And I'm going to slow it down to about 25 here. It's a 40 mile an hour zone. And then we'll go to 23. Downshifts like it should. And it upshifts like it should. But I couldn't let it go all the way because we were basically at 40 and 39 there. It's right now power. Um, turns on a dime. And you've got the little, the windows are in the middle here, which is pretty cool. Um, very European. And I'm going to turn around here. I went too far down. Uh, it's tall geared, man. He'd be going... 45 by the time this thing hits second, so I gotta let off around 38 to where we don't speed. Um, man, it's a nice driver. It rides nice with that air self-leveling. Um, you can hear the occasional rattle and stuff under it. I'm sure that at some point it may need shocks. Um, they seem good now. It rides nice. Um, I was thinking U-joint clunk, but it's not really a U-joint clunk. Probably a bushing back there getting a little softer than others or something. Um, oh man, this ain't going to be good at all for taking pictures of the interior. Um, I'm going to try this here. Try one more thing. Driving around looking for a spot to show you the inside. I got all these cars in my driveway over here.
this might be as good as it gets, just like Jack Nicholson there. Okay. I'm going to shut her off and pop the hood and start showing you things. Carpets are in great shape. Everything about this car and that. Now, I don't have the floor mats with it. That's some kind of funky mat that ain't the right one. Not you, Matt. And seats, power and everything. Power locks and everything work from over here. Um, they don't work from the other side. Wow, they don't lock it either. They just unlock it. So, so you know. Um, and I believe it locks it when you put it in gear. Because it locked it there on me yesterday. These here, the clips. Right there need to be fixed a little. Needs a little work with that. And it doesn't hold them up all the way. Kind of need a little bit of work with the button and stuff. Same thing here. The clip has got a... That one looks like it's got a pencil in it. But it's holding it up. And it just needs a little work with the clip there. Um, a little tear in that. Now I can get the headliner fixed. You can see there's a spot on it there. And a little bit of spots there. And little spots. I can get the headliner done for you. For between 95 to 145. I'll bet this one coming in about a hundred and a quarter or so. And the guy does great work. Point in case would be these seats. They are brand spanking new. I just got them done. And um, you can see he did the factory. This is the factory, um, I, don't, I don't call it stitching, but that's how the factory ones were. <clears throat> they were just starting to get cracked and worn. And so I had him replace the whole tops. Um, this piece here is not replaced, but everything on the top of these, brand spanking new. This piece is a little loose, like they get, and the double opening works fine. There's a seat belt pull that is for this seat belt, and I, of course, have not had that on my car, and needs to be figured out how to get that back on. Check the ad. I may have already done that by the time you get it. Mirrors, they work in and out, but not up and down on that one. And then something on this one. A couple of the positions is not exactly right, and I'm pretty sure it's the switch. Um, like I say, seats are beautiful. This back seat, in fact, I'm gonna ruin that for you right now. It is ruined. This back seat had never been set in. And right now, it's been set in. I shouldn't have done that, right? You can hear all the new sounds here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful in here. And I'll get that mat off there so you can see the floor there. No, not you, Matt. And, oh, all this kind of stuff works. They were on. Hope it starts for me now. Um, oh, I gotta show you under the hood. I gotta check the starting too. I'll be stuck down here. Have to go get my charger. Good car. It take a little bit more than somebody leaving my lights on to kill this thing. All the lights work, by the way. Um, you know what, I'll just do it like this to where... And there you go, the trunk latch button works. I don't know which to show you first, the trunk or the front. I gotta hurry though, I got about a minute and a half. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. And you can call me anytime. Um, also website is www.serialmarshmallows.com. Click on blog when you get there and you can see a lot of the stuff I have for sale. Very clean. Looks to have a newer alternator. Um, this here is zip tied on, so you know. And it has a piece out of it. Doesn't get hot, nothing like that. Just that's how it, it was. Um, new plug and wire set. We tuned this thing up. Um, it's a good running car. Um, like I say, I do some things like that. We put a thermostat in. Um, you can see we got a couple new clamps on it and a new hose, and um, it's ready to go. Um, compressor spins free as can be. 
Um, it is the old R12. It blows cool, but not cold. Not ice cold like it should. And I can get that fixed for you for between 85 to 145. And that's pretty much that. Okay, you gotta see this. Whoever had this car took exceptional care of it. This here needs a little pin to keep it up, the little clips. But you can see the tire back here and all this stuff. I believe that these need to hang in there. And you can see back up in here is all there. And he's got all this. Nice as it gets, clean as it gets. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. It's about all the time I've got. Thank you for watching. I'll help you export this anywhere. Call me anytime, day or night, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching.